Jim from Philly. Welcome to the program, Jim. Hey, Sam. How's it going? Uh, going good. I just wanted to call. You haven't been responding to my email, so I just wanted to see if you're finally ready to grow a pair and admit that Obama's as bad as Romney. <laughs> you know, it's not that I haven't been responding to your emails. I think we just put it on a filter and it goes right into our spam folder. Yeah, you're, you don't really like to handle criticism like that. Right, right. Uh, so, uh, I'm sorry, what's the question again? I tell you, are you ready to grow a pair and admit that Obama's as bad as Romney? You know, I can't really, um, I can't really just decide that I'm going to grow a pair, right? I mean, that's biology. I would like to add a couple of inches, too, and frankly, lose a couple of pounds. That's hard enough. Uh, but, no, I mean, uh, okay, sure. th that, uh, well, uh, what about on torture? What well, do you say, Jim? What about on torture? What about on torture? Obama's still torturing. Uh, Obama's outlawed torture. I mean, for all the other ills that he's doing, for all the other ills that he's doing, for all the other ills that he's doing, Romney has stated that he will change the policy on torture. What about that? It hasn't changed. Why are prisoners still dying in Guantanamo? It hasn't changed. Uh, I don't think prisoners are still dying in Guantanamo. Yes, they are. You're just not listening to the news, Sam, or you're just not listening to the news that goes against your biases. Okay. And do you have a link to this? I'll provide you with one. I'm away from my computer right now. Okay. And, um, all right, so and what's the uh, other argument? On all things, Romney is the same as uh, Obama. Yeah. More war, more violations of civil liberties, more economic downturn. Mm-hmm. And, and what, don't feed me this whole lesser of two evil nonsense. Well, anymore. you just don't think that he's uh, less evil. <laughs> no, I think they're both equally bad for the country. Right. And uh, right. so um, Romney's uh, plan. This is from from just uh, just like from uh, today, Jonathan Chait. Largest and clearest point of distinction: the presidential race is the idea of universal access to health insurance. Romney has already stated that he will repeal Obamacare. Now, Obamacare is not my um, uh, favorite piece of legislation. However, what it does do is that it uh, provides for near universal health insurance. In other words, you cannot be denied if you have a pre-existing condition. Uh, someone that I know uh, fairly well, um, her mother just suffered a heart attack. And they are going to not provide her with health insurance. Right now, she's in the hospital today. They, the, the insurance company, because uh, Obamacare has not kicked in yet uh, in, in this aspect, they are not going to cover her, her, her heart attack expenses because they claim that she had a pre-existing condition. Romney will return us to this status quo. Obamacare won't. How do you address that, Jim? Grow a pair and tell me how you address this. I address it by saying, if Obama, I address it by saying that Romney's plan isn't right. But if you say Obamacare, grow a pair and tell me how you address this. You're a coward. You're a moral coward because you cannot make the decision. Because you want to dance around and say that you are somehow holy and self-righteous. This is not easy. You need to make a decision. No, what do you tell that woman who is in the hospital right now and they won't cover her heart attack? What do you tell them? Uh, now you're taking, what now is you're taking it? the moral high ground. Tell, tell them. them. What do you tell them? Business. I, tell, I tell them that their insurance company is wrong. And? And? Well, we need I won't, I won't deny we need health care reform, Sam, but I don't We've think got we it. Any We've Obama got that system. reform. It's already on the books. But your Mitt Romney will overturn it. I don't support Mitt Romney. You yes, idiot. you do. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, I support you do. Gary Johnson. Gary You're Johnson would cool. overturn it even quicker. Gary Johnson doesn't even cool Gary Johnson doesn't even pay lip service to the idea that government should provide universal access to health care. 
Why don't you do a little reading about your precious Gary Johnson? Why don't you fuck off, you left-wing Limbaugh? There you go. Sorry, you still online? He hung up. The funny thing is, I would take his call. But now he's calling from, he's trying to block his caller ID. I don't care. We know who it is. When Jim calls from the same place, we all roll our eyes. He's a coward. He's a coward. It sucks having to make this decision. It sucks. I'm not happy with it. This is the reality. Adults deal with reality. This is literally like my seven-year-old daughter. What do you want for lunch? We've got turkey or we've got a cheese sandwich. I want a slice of pizza. Well, we don't have any pizza here. Well, I want pizza. Well, we don't have pizza. I want pizza. We don't have pizza. Well, then I'm not going to have turkey or cheese. Well, then guess what? You will not have lunch. I want pizza. There's no pizza. This, that's exactly the conversation that I just had with that guy. Except for in this case, it's not a question of whether or not you have to stomach uh, eating uh, cheese or uh, turkey. It's literally, I mean, I've had to deal with this in the past uh, 36 hours. Somebody's sitting in the hospital having a heart attack, and the insurance company's coming in and saying, we're not going to cover this because we're arguing that you had a pre-existing condition. And whatever you want else to say, and I, I don't know that there's any show that is covered as thoroughly the problems with the Obama administration in the past four years. But Mitt Romney would overturn that on day one, he said. Now, I don't know if he can or will, but I can tell you that if there is a, uh, a Republican House and a Republican Senate, very likely that he'd be able to do it. Maybe not on day one. And so that's just the reality. Gary Johnson, great. Great. I hope he raises money, and I hope that he can uh, carry his message. He can't even... He can't even get a substantial amount of Republicans to vote for him. And they all agree with his economic proposals. Gary Johnson is not going to win. And neither is Jill Stein and neither is Rocky Anderson. That's quite clear at this point. You're in a swing state. You want to help build that party. And you think voting for... I mean, uh, you're in a... Uh, a non-swing state, you want to build, uh, vote for him and build that party, fine. But to claim in some way that your decision is it's more moral, you're a child. You're a child. I don't even know how your mommy and daddy allows you to use the phone without them there. It's unbelievable. 